Now, when I was growing up, um, and this is going to date me, uh, our school, our churches were, uh, you know, little country churches, and they'd have their their uh, mother and daughter banquet or their father yeah. son banquet, and Sad. that's what they hired entertainment for. You're working, uh, at least from the video I've seen, uh, uh, you're working a whole different level of uh, churches. Am I right? Yes. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah, there are a lot of larger churches that exist now uh, that do events, uh, comedy concerts. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever heard of Tim Hawkins. Uh, I know the name, yes. Uh, Tim is pretty much in the stratosphere right now uh, in the kind of Christian comedy world. Uh, he is performing in large churches where there are two, three, sometimes 4,000 uh, seats uh, in these churches, and uh, he's doing these as ticketed events uh, where people are coming out, and he's literally filling these places. Now, I refer to Tim as doing that. Uh, I don't consider myself necessarily at that level. However, and, and when I say that, I mean Tim comes in as an independent artist. Mm -hmm. They book him. They handle all the ticket sales. When I say they, I mean the, uh, Tim and his team kind of uh, put those put that whole tour together. Um, however, there are churches out there, and that is, in other words, that is to say there are churches out there that do events like this, uh, and they bring in um, acts like mine and um, other specialty kind of acts, and if it can carry the night, um, carry the show, then they're very excited to uh, bring in, you know, folks like myself and um, ventriloquists and of course, there's singers and things like that, that that people will bring in as a special concert event. So, yeah, that's a whole different level than the church basement, you know, mother and daughter banquet uh, that, of course, we've all done.